Good morning, dear students. I would like you all to open your wonder mat book and go to chapter number seven. I am sure all of you can notice the heading written on the top left-hand corner is addition and subtraction, which is our topic of study today. So, let us go through the pages one after the other. I want you all to pay your attention as I start to explain this chapter to you. But before explaining the chapter, I want to say you something. I hope students, all you can remember that in earlier we have already learned about how to make addition and subtraction with one digit numbers. For example, 4 plus 9 is equal to 13 or 7 minus 3 is equal to 4 etc. We have already learned that. But now, we are going to learn again addition and subtraction but with two digit numbers. For example, 22 plus 11 is equal to 33 or 30 minus 25 is equal to 5 etc. So now I am going to explain this chapter. Please pay attention. Chapter 7 Addition and Subtraction Page number 23 This is a worksheet page student. I am explaining this page but I will send you the answers later. At first we can see here a picture of a birthday party where Tia is celebrating her birthday. Her friends, her mother, her father and uncle also there. Now come to this point student. Six of her friends have come to the party. Eleven more are yet to come. How many friends will be there in total? So what is written here in total? That means we have to add the numbers. We have to add six with eleven. So the answer will be 17. 6 plus 11 is equal to 17. So we have to put 17 here. Now come to this point, point number B. There are 6 candles on the cake. Tia blows out 4 candles. How many candles remain lit? So what is written here remain lit. That means we have to subtract from 6 to 4. So the answer will be 2. 6 minus 4 is equal to 2. So we have to put 2 here. Now students, all of you please come to this page, page number 24. What we are going to learn from this chapter is written here. I am reading this, please listen. We will learn how to add numbers from 21 to 99. We will also learn how to subtract numbers from 21 to 99. We have to know how to add 3 numbers. We also have to know how to solve day-to-day -day addition and subtraction problems. A beautiful story given here related grandma and her two granddaughters Tia and John. So with the help of the story I will try to explain this topic. We are going to learn about addition without regrouping. So I am reading the story. Please listen carefully. Grandma has brought a lot of things for Tia and John. She gives 35 bits to Tia and 24 bits to John. Tia and John want to find the total number of bits they have. So what is written here? In the total number. So we have to add the numbers. We have to add 35 with 24. Remember students, a group of 10 bits is written as 110. That means 110 is equal to 10 ones. 110 bits is equal to 10 ones bits. Now I am going to explain this problem. Please listen carefully. For 35 bits, they have to make 3 groups of 10 bits and 5 loose bits. So we can see here 3 groups of 10 bits 1, 2, 3 and 5 loose bits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now come to this part. For 24 bits, they have to make 2 groups of 10 bits and 4 loose bits. So we can see here. 2 groups of 10 bits 1 and 2 and 4 loose bits 1, 2, 3, 4. So first we have to add the loose bits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 5 from here and 4 from here. Then they have to add the groups of 10 bits. Here we can see 5 groups of 10 bits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 groups of 10 bits mean 50 bits. Now we have 5 groups of 10 bits and 9 loose bits. 
five groups of 10 bits and nine loose bits. This means that we have 59 bits in all. Students, we can also find the sum by using sticks. I am explaining this, please listen. 35 bits can be represented by three bundles of 10 sticks and five loose sticks. Three bundles of 10 sticks, one bundle, two bundle, three bundle and five loose sticks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now come to this part. 24 bits can be represented by 2 bundles of 10 sticks and 4 low sticks. 2 bundles of 10 sticks, 1 bundle and 2 bundle and 4 low sticks. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now come to this page, page number 27. First, we have to add the low sticks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 1, 2, 3, 4. 5 plus 4 is equal to 9 sticks. Then add the bundles of 10 sticks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 bundles of 10 sticks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 bundles of 10 sticks means 50 sticks. Now we have 5 bundles of 10 sticks and 9 loose sticks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 bundles of 10 sticks and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 9 bund loose sticks. This means that we have 59 sticks in all. Students, I can also tell you one another way to find the sum of two numbers. Do you want to know what is that? See, I am telling you. The number 35 can be written as like this. This is 10's place and this is 1's place. So we have to put 5 in 1's place and 3 in 10's place. So 3 10's means 30 and 5 1's means 5. 30 plus 5 is equal to 35. Again the number 24 can be written as like this. 4 in 1's place and 2 in 10's place. 2 10's means 20 and 4 1's means 4. 20 plus 4 is equal to 24. Now students turn into next page. That means page number 28. This is page number 28. See. At first we have to add the digits in the 1's place. Then add the digits in 10's place. We have already written 5 in 1's place and 3 in 10's place for 35. And 4 in 1's place and 2 in 10's place for 24. So at first we have to add one place digits that means 5 and 4 so we will add 5 and 4 5 plus 4 is equal to 9 then we will add in tens place digits that means 3 and 2 so 3 and 2 we have to add 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 so the answer is 59 so we can also write it as 35 plus 24 is equal to 59 understood remember students the numbers that are added together to get the sum are called addends. I repeat, the numbers that are added together to get the sum are called addends. Here, 35 and 24 are addends. I repeat, here, 35 and 24 are addends. I hope you have understood. This is the exercise of this topic. I will send you the answers later. Now we are going to learn addition of three numbers. See students, again a story has given here related to grandma and her two granddaughters, Tia and John. So I am going to read the story. Please listen carefully. Grandma loves sketching. This week she is drawing sketches for Tia and John. The table below shows the number of sketches she draws in three days. So here is the table. I am reading this. This is day column and this is number of sketches column. So grandma draws Monday 8 sketches, Tuesday 4 sketches, Wednesday 5 sketches. So how many sketches does she draw in 3 days? So we have to add 8, 4 and 5 these 3 numbers. 8 is already written here. So we have to put 4 in this place and 5 in this place. Okay, now we have to add 8, 4 and 5. That means 8 plus 4 plus 5. To add 3 numbers, 
begin by adding two numbers. We will take a help of number line. See, here is the number line. So first we will start from 8 and we have to jump 4 steps forward from 8. From 8 to 9, 9 to 10, 10 to 11, 11 to 12. So we have reached 12. That means 8 plus 4 is equal to 12. Okay. Now turn into next page, page number 30. See, so 8 plus 4 is equal to 12. Now add the third number that means the number 5. So again we have to count 5 steps forward from 12. Here is the number line and we will start from 12. So we have to count 5 steps forward from 12. From 12 to 13, 13 to 14, 14 to 15, 15 to 16, 16 to 17. So we have reached at 17. Okay. So the number is 17. 12 plus 5 is equal to 17. Okay. So at what number do you reach? 17. Okay. We have to put the number 17 here. So grandma makes how many sketches in 3 days? 17 sketches in 3 days. So 8 plus 4 plus 5 is equal to 17. So grandma makes 17 sketches in 3 days. We can also add the same numbers by regrouping. How? See, 8, 4 and 5, we have to add these three numbers. That means 8 plus 4 plus 5. So at first, we will draw 8 sticks plus 4 sticks plus 5 sticks. After that, we have to take 2 sticks from 4 and we will draw a box around 8 sticks and 2 sticks. So in next step, we can see that one bundle of 10 sticks plus 2 sticks plus 5 sticks. What is written here? 10 plus 2 plus 5. Now come to next step. What is written here? Or what is drawn here? One bundle of 10 sticks plus 7 sticks. We have already added 2 plus 5 is equal to 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 sticks. What is written here? 10 plus 7. Now come to next step or final step. One bundle of 10 sticks or one 10 sticks and seven loose sticks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That means 17. 10 plus 7 is equal to 17. So the answer is same. 8 plus 4 plus 5 is equal to 17. Students, with the help of that same story, I am going to explain you about subtraction without regrouping. The next day, Grandma gives Tia and John some biscuits. Tia wants to treat her friends with the biscuits. Tia counts and finds that she has 46 biscuits. The picture of 46 biscuits has given here. Now, Tia gives 21 biscuits to her friends. The picture of 21 biscuits has given here. Can you tell me how many biscuits are left with her? To find the answer, Tia uses bundles of sticks and loose sticks again. Remember students, we subtract a smaller number from a bigger number. I repeat, we subtract a smaller number from a bigger number. Now see this table. This is 1's place and this is 10's place. She uses 46 sticks to represent the total number of biscuits she had. So we can see that 4 bundles of 10 sticks is here in 10's place 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 bundles of 10 sticks and 6 loose sticks in 1's place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 loose sticks in 1's place. Now she uses 21 sticks to represent the number of biscuits she gave to her friends. 2 bundles of 10 sticks in 10's place and 1 stick in 1's place or 1 loose stick in 1's place. So first, she subtracts the loose sticks. So, we have to take away one loose stick from six loose sticks. So we have to draw a cross sign on one stick. Next, she subtracts two bundles of ten sticks. So we have to take away two bundles of ten sticks from four bundles. One, two, three, four bundles of ten sticks here. 
we have to draw two, two cross sign on two bundles of 10 sticks. So how many sticks are left? Yes, two bundles of 10 sticks or two tens and five loose sticks or five ones. That means two bundles of 10 sticks means two tens that means 20 and five loose sticks means five, 25. So we have to put 25 here. So Tia is left with 25 biscuits. Students, again I can tell you one another way to subtract 21 from 46. We know that 46 and 21 can be written as 6 in 1's place and 4 in 10's place. 4 10's means 40, 6 1's means 6. 40 plus 6 is equal to 46. And 1 in 1's place and 2 in 10's place, 2 10's means 20 plus 1 is equal to 21. Now turn to next page that is page number 34. So first we have to subtract the digits in 1's place then we will subtract the digits in the 10's place. So we have to subtract from 6 to 1. The answer will be 5. That means 6 minus 1 is equal to 5. Now we, we will uh, subtract from 4 to 2. The answer will be 2. That means 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. So we can also write it as 46 minus 21 is equal to 25. Listen students. In the subtraction problem, the number from which another number is subtracted is called minuend. I repeat, in the subtraction problem, the number from which another number is subtracted is called minuend. And the number that is subtracted is called subtrahend. I repeat. The number that is subtracted is called subtrahend. Here, 46 is the minuend and 21 is the subtrahend. 46 is the minuend and 21 is the subtrahend. I hope students all you have understood. This is the exercise of this topic. I will send you the answers later. Now, what we have learned from this chapter. 10 ones can be grouped as 110. The numbers that are added together to get the sum are called addends. Two two-digit numbers can be added or subtracted by first adding or subtracting the digits in the ones place, then adding the adding and subtracting by the digits in the tens place. In a subtraction problem, the number from which another number is subtracted is called the minuend and the number which is subtracted is called the subtrahend.